Yeah, but that wasn't my question, was it? My question was, what is your game plan? What is the overall mission of your witch hunt? Because it's not like this is a case of valid gatekeeping. Like when we see white girls wearing box braids and co-opting the clean girl aesthetic. Being able to interact with nerd culture belongs to everybody. It truly belongs to everybody. You're not a protected class for liking anime since you were a teen. <laughs> I got news for you. Because it's for anybody, anybody can jump on nerd culture whenever they want to. There's nothing you can do about it. And more importantly, there's nothing wrong with that. Some people are just now getting into nerddom because they finally have the money. Because nerd paraphernalia and con convention tickets are expensive. Some people may have enjoyed it more quietly than you did in the past. And now there's more outlets for them to enjoy it more openly. And guess what? They don't owe you a performance of being a loud ass fan. There's not a minimum number of graphic tees they need to own at all times. Like, it's okay to be a casual fan. You're not a victim of severe systemic oppression. Having been bullied for being a nerd when you were younger. Because what happens a lot with a lot of these OGs. But they got bullied when they were younger for liking shit. Okay, that sucks. Handle it with your fucking bully. You see that motherfucker on Beyonce's internet saying, I love anime, and they gave you fucking swirlies for it back then? Drag them, by all means. But what they seem to do is just go after people that remind them of their bully or remind them of girls that wouldn't go out with them. And then project all that hate and frustration onto people that don't deserve it. Surprise, surprise, most of the gatekeepers are men. And so the victims tend to be women, particularly those that they find attractive, they remind them of the girls that wouldn't hook up with them. So no, sweetheart, that is not poetic justice. Now, you're the bully. Again, I ask, you round up all the posers, okay, now what? Because in the box braid situation, we are asserting ourselves and reclaiming culture that has always belonged to us. Pray tell, how are you going to reclaim a culture that was never exclusively yours to begin with? How? Quick!